and welcome. I'm it bitted. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We have sieged all of Anatolia and basically only waiting for the Ottomans to go bankrupt. And they have Okay, some more Ottoman peasants have spawned, but they are friendly to us because I support their cause. And we're still making money. We gain some military power, which is nice. Always nice to have it. And we could probably attack uh, Trebizond. You are... No, you are allied with Armenia and Georgia. Scorched Earth has expired in, expired in Achaea. Okay. What would you give me? Epirus and Monastia. He's still thinking uh, he's much better off than he actually is. And let's see, he's immediately coming for us, so we scorch Earth again. I can invest in Diplotech, which won't increase naval maintenance, but increase trade range trade range and would allow us to build some buildings. Let's see, can we reduce war exhaustion? No. So, no reason to hold off on it, right? Yeah, we already got 10% labor bonus, so we should totally get it. And on the next level we are going to get uh, trade efficiency and we should also build a marketplace in Constantinople marketplace C trade power yeah we should totally build that and have I made my yeah Let's put him in charge of troops. Oh, the Ottoman peasants have enforced their demands. So what do we do, of course? We get two regiments ready to siege Amasir again. That's nice. That means the Ottomans should have increased uh, get even less taxes. Wait, uh, country income Ottomans. Let's see how they are doing on inflation and so on. Ottomans. They have still only 1% inflation and they have some money in their treasury. Let's start by continue destroying their income and let's see you have over seven war exhaustion ottoman peasants have risen up in Erzurum. probably we are not supporting them anymore which we should totally do again here have some money and be quiet And it would be very nice if some rebels spawned in Greece. The Mamelukes have declared war on the knights. Okay, this could be problematic for us, but could also help us out because if they win, the Rodos will have an increased revolt risk and it will be much more likely to defect to us. The Ottomans have scrapped the fleet and have still 16,000 troops. Uh, 
I hope they will start disbanding their troops soon and we should totally scorch earth again in Constantinople. We lose one stability, perfect. Why do I keep getting the feeling all of the events in this game are bad and against me? Well, can't do anything about that either, right? And the Ottomans want to give me Epirus and Itzmit? Itzmit, not Itzmir, Itzmit, this one. But I say no. No, 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 that's not going to happen. And come on, siege Amasia. And come on, for exhaustion, you should increase by much more. He has 7% increased revolt risk. No, he just bought it down. But he had 7% increased revolt risk and still no revolts have has broken out in Greece, which is so annoying. Please, come on, revolt. When they revolt, they have to fight them and lose money due to the fight. Okay, we have won that siege as well. And we can probably go and reduce our war exhaustion now. Right? Oh, I need more Diplo points, but I can reduce it now at the end of the month. And reduce it. Also, the marketplace should have increased our share of trade and decrease the share of trade of the Ottomans and we lose some Diplo power. And Hungary, you would be willing to royal marriage us, which is nice. It should decrease our uh, legitimacy problem and we should also get a royal marriage with Austria next. Great. Ottoman peasants have risen in Mentees. So Ottomans, how are you doing on money? You have... <laughs> Damn it. Um, Ottomans, you have like no money in your treasury, right? No money in the treasury and 1% inflation. 1.5% actually. And you're making 3 ducats a month. Let's see if it actually... They should have higher inflation now. Ottomans? Yep. No, they, uh, but they must have taken on a loan. They just got money. And they are not getting 50 ducats tax, so it should really start increasing. And I really hope their amazing ruler dies so they can't afford to reduce war exhaustion that much. But he's only 24. so annoying. Come on. Stop reducing your war exhaustion. It won't help you. Sooner or later I am going to get you. 7 war exhaustion. Keeps rising. Scorched Earth has expired in Constantinople. We can probably start taking on their army very soon, but let's keep hurting him some more before we do that. 
and he only has 8,000 troops anymore. So we should probably get our troops ready. Because he should also have a very low morale. Our prestige very very slowly rises due to uncontested cores, which is very annoying. Rodos might actually defect to us. Let's hope it does this before the Mamelukes core it. And Trapezont is still independent, but they are allied with um, Armenia and Georgia, which are all very small, so we would be able to vassalize them probably. And they are allied with Dalkadir, Dalkadir is allied with the Mamelukes, they are so probably our best bet is to attack those guys above. I mean, they only have 4,000 men. We can take 5,000, just take them over. But, well, how good is our leader? He's a 1-1-0. One, uh, one so if we move to like Ankara and declare war on them, well, let's not do anything until we have finished that war. Scorched Earth has expired in Achea. Let's continue it here. And we won't need it in Constantinople anymore. And they have disbanded all of the troops except for 1000 troops. Which means we should be able to go and start sieging burgers. Well, let's take only two guys over for now for burgers. And let's see the. If we siege Burgas, um, we, we should start sieging the provinces with outdoor exhaustion. Because sieging those helps us out more. Because the chance of revolt is lower. So there's actually no chance of a revolt and let's actually kill off his army with all our troops. And the Ottomans have gone up in war exhaustion and we will destroy their army. And he shouldn't be able to escape right on the 10th. Yeah, we reach him and oh, we have lowered maintenance, but it should be enough anyway. And this also increased his war exhaustion by a little bit. So we want to send like two guys over to that one and Let's take this one and split it in half. Let's see, select army. You are 2000 guys, go over to that one and you are also 2000. Let's actually not siege that one for now. We just need to get some, some more war exhaustion. And there are some orthodox zealots in Albania. You know what would be really fun? If Albania... Ottoman peasants, okay, we don't care for that. If Albania... Uh, if the orthodox zealots would go over to Edirne 
and actually force the Ottomans to convert to um, oh I'm not Idiana to uh, yeah yes Idiana if the if they take the capital the Ottomans should be forced to accept demand and become Sunni that would be so hilarious uh, not Sunni uh, Armenia declared war on the Ottomans but they can't take any provinces for now. Okay, and we can get 10 revolt risk in Achaea or lose 13 admin power. I think we will take the revolt risk. I think we should be very stable and have no problems, right? Let's see next month. Yeah, our tolerance is high enough to handle that. And Scorched Earth has expired in Constantinople, but we don't care anymore. I should probably turn the thing off for now. Um, message settings... All... Scorched. Um, how's it called? Province modifier. Yeah, we don't need the pop up anymore. Just give me a message and close that. And this one is occupied by Orthodox Salads. We don't have a claim over here, but this province is Greek. Greek is not an accepted culture in rebels. That's interesting. Okay. And yeah, this one hasn't also flipped. Would be nice if others flipped before the Mamelukes decided to core it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye and see you then.